Jeremy Piven joins us. Very good morning to you. Um, good morning, you guys. Well, this is going to bring a tear to people's eye. You know, wh why is the whole thing coming to an end? We had always intended to do four seasons, and um, I, I think it's, it's the perfect amount of time, and, and I, I feel great about it. Um, I'm just really proud. I, 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 the, everyone figured out a way for the show to get better every year, and, and I can't ask for anything more. He's a wonderful character, isn't he? Sort of yeah. historically, and I imagine for you as an actor to play, so full of life and, and, and problems and, and drama. Hard drama. Uh, was it hard yeah. to say goodbye to him? It, it was hard, um, and, and at the same time, I, I just, I just kind of feel very proud. And you know, we we all became very close as a family. It feels like, and um, I don't know. I just, um, it's like all good things must come to an end. But, but um, I don't know. You know, who knows? Maybe there could be. Maybe we'll do it on the West End. Maybe it'll become a musical. We don't know. <laughs> Anything's and, possible. And when you when you film the final scenes, even though it's the Roaring Twenties, there's a kind of party atmosphere. There's obviously you know lots going on. But is there a big sense of this is coming to an end, guys? You know we're, we're sad about that. Friendships are broken up. You all go your different ways. What was the the, the mood behind the scenes? Um, all the actors in the show um, are so, are so overqualified for their roles. They're <laughs> so brilliant and they're all going off and Tom Goodman Hill, Amanda and Kate Kelly, everyone's going and starring in other things and you know and, and life goes on and we had an incredible run so I think there was just a, a really nice feeling of of accomplishment with all of us and 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 now we're all moving on but it, it was the, the, it was bittersweet. There was sadness as well. Mm. I, I would imagine that one of the things that I, I absolutely adore about the series uh, is, is the sets. The sets are absolutely beautiful. But was there anything? Was there anything that you had to use uh, that you were able to steal from set, Jeremy, as a memento of, of Harry? You know, because I was a guest in your lovely country, the last thing I wanted to do was steal things <laughs> and then leave. I, I'll be totally honest with you. I just I wanted to I wanted to finish cleanly, <laughs> respectfully, and then leave your gl glorious country. Oh, come I on. Didn't, what was I it you snaffled? That, I, that's what that, do you that want like to, a guilty... to admit to live on television? <laughs> was there was it just uh, a little something? A walking cane? I, I, I stole my desk and two couches. <laughs> <laughs> they I must be honest. They weren't easy to hide. <laughs> and 100,000 pounds. And I robbed nine banks. <laughs> And then I, le I just, I left town. Very, very like Harry himself. You're obviously full of verve, uh, Jeremy, of course. Uh. Yeah, I mean, his life was, was so incredible. Um, he, he really did have this beautiful affair with one of the Dolly sisters and, and went out gambling with them and, and, and had this beautiful and tragic life that, that was such a fertile, great premise for the show. Uh. Well, you talk about the fact that, you know, it, it, I mean, I know, you know, for us, we, we fall in love with all of, all of the characters, and it's very hard when a programme like this ends, because viewers feel very emotional Destiny, about it. Yeah. I understand from what you're saying, it's, it, it's a job for you guys, of course it is, you're all going on to other things. What, what, what's your next prospect? You talk about, you know, you joke about bringing it to the West End, what are you actually going to be doing now? I'm going to go to Dubai with that other gentleman in the vest and live the dream. What, whatever he's doing, count me in. I mean, he's, whatever he's doing, he's doing it right, Jeremy. That's what you got to bear in he, mind. He he's doing it right. I, I mean, we just need to follow his lead. He's fun. I mean, I'm a straight man, but count me in. Does that make sense? <laughs> Where Andy leads, we all follow. He certainly does. He's uh, the mentor yes. for our 100 days of healthy. Uh, talking of which, yes. Jer have you got a New Year's resolution that you're following? I mean, I'm sure living out in L.A., you have to stay healthy all the time. But what's your top tip yeah, for us all? You know what? It, it, it's, it would be so American of me to reveal all of my New Year's resolutions because I know the myth about Americans is that we just... We're, we're this, this open book and we reveal all, all of our secrets and then you guys don't trust us and it's very tragic. So I can, I'm, I'm going to be very un-American and not tell you my New Year's resolutions, but, but um, because I think that we should 
try to figure out ways to evolve and get better all the time. I know it sounds so incredibly cliched, but not just on the night before the calendar turns. So every day is that a new day. Sense. Jeremy Piven, lovely to see you. Nice um, to see you guys. We'll look forward to seeing you out in Dubai at some point soon. Let's all, can we all vacation together? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. I'm not going to say no. <laughs> um, great. Have a, have a good one. Thanks ever so much. Great Thank you, Jeremy. Take care, you guys.